Well, there's a lot going on these days, from wars to rising gas prices. A lot of things seem to be out of our control right now. But there are some things you can still control about your personal economy. Joining us to talk about that, Taylor and Laurel Stewart, part of the finan family at Matson Financial Services, a financial firm that's been helping people just like you retire successfully right here in West Michigan for decades. You can also catch them on the radio on their popular show, Money Mentors, Taylor, Laurel. How, how do you see issues like this uh, playing out for retirees? Inflation, international mm -hmm. conflicts, there's, there's a lot going on. Absolutely, they're really concerned. You know, and people talk about that when they come in and we need to look at what is happening big picture here and how that affects you. But now we need to get into the nitty gritty too of talking about what is the income you need first and foremost. Yep. Let's talk about how all that works. I see yeah. how, how factual you're mm -hmm. approaching this, but when people walk in your door, there's probably a lot more emotion. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, they're reacting to what's happening in the world, and there's a lot of emotion. You mm -hmm. kind of do you, do you find yourself walking people off ledges a few times? Yeah, every now and then. And, and of of course, there's only so much that we control, right? We mm -hmm. can't control the gas prices. We can't control foreign conflict. We can control, however, how we react to it. So it's really taking a step back, looking at your plan, getting it in place for a long-term goal, and then we can use these opportunities in the short term, right? It doesn't sound very exciting having wars and high gas right. prices and inflation. Um, but it does breed some uh, market volatility, obviously, that we've seen. And with volatility comes opportunity as well. So making sure that you've got your long-term goals set in place and also uh, how can we have a flexible plan to take advantage of what's going on in the short term to achieve our long-term goals. So it can be scary, of course, mm -hmm. but we need to look at it factually and say, okay, this is another blip on the radar. We don't know how long it's going to last, but these are some steps that we can take to control what our long-term forecast is going to look like. So you're really talking about controlling risk here. Right, because yeah. you're controlling the emotion of it, taking mm -hmm. that out, and then controlling what risk factors are out there, right? Absolutely. Knowing how, the, how you're allocated properly is very important, especially when we get closer to retirement. Every year, you know, our risk tolerance is going to change, but as we get closer and closer to that retirement, and then we see all these scary things coming across on the news headlines, um, it can become, you know, even more concerning. So understanding where you sit from a risk aspect, how are your uh, assets properly allocated, and are they, maybe they're not properly allocated and that's where it comes back to looking at your overall risk tolerance now it's time to make some of those changes it's good to know that we have some options yes. right there are, there are options out there what do you what do you when somebody walks in the door and you've controlled their emotions okay we're off that we, we're learning about how they control their risk mm -hmm. what's the next step how do you walk them through the process what do you need yeah, and that's where we have a bunch of the information that we gather, and that's from your income. You know, what do you currently have? What's your desired income? Mm. And what the difference is there is that if you come to us and say, I'm ready to retire, well, you likely don't want to take a pay cut, right? You're not going to enjoy everything you want to do. So we like to make sure your plan at least solves for, you know, the same income that you're receiving right now or more because of you have your lifestyle items, too. And when it comes down to that, mm -hmm. okay, they, they have a desired income. Yep. Obviously, we're talking tax season around this time, too. So Taxes obviously, always. you probably toss that in, too, because you don't want to get bumped into a higher tax bracket. Absolutely. Looking at taxes is one of the biggest things that we do going to that long-term planning, mm -hmm. um, looking from year to year, what are our tax projections looking like? And maybe there are some years where it's better to take more money than others, right? So we kind of pre-fund what we want to do next year by taking some additional dollars this year, um, keeping us in a lower tax bracket because we know next year, mm -hmm. hey, maybe we're going to get that ESOP payout or we're going to get a lump sum payout for you know some other reason. And so taking a look at that income, maybe it makes sense to take it now versus next year or vice Versa. Yeah, I mean, when to take that money is right. key. I mean, you guys, that's the, really, it seems to be uh, something that we hit on often mm -hmm. when we speak is the timing mm -hmm. of when to do this stuff. And, and of course, tax is one thing, inflation is another, all right, and the yeah. cost of living is going up. Mm -hmm. So uh, you mentioned to Laurel about not taking a pay cut, you know, when you retire. You may need a pay raise. I mean, right. the cost of living is going up, right? How do, you, how do you help families keep up with that? Well, I mean, you're looking at it, it was 6%, now it's 7%, it's above that. And so we see the feds, you know, changing different things with the rates there, and they project another six or seven, I think, for the rest of the year. So we just make sure as we're building into your plan, we're layering in all these different income sources mm -hmm. and making sure, is this one guaranteed? Is this one going to change with the stock markets? Because if you have all of your income in stocks and bonds that can go up and down, if they do go down, what is your plan? Just to take a pay cut then at that time right. or do a different strategy? That's not a good one. You know so. what uh, You know what I know, uh, Taylor and Laurel, uh, retirees want to think about um, 
their grandkids. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to think about the trip they're going to take, right. and they want to think about maybe going fishing. Okay, they don't want to yeah. think about taxes and inflation. <laughs> no. and so it's so good that we have you guys as fiduciaries with uh, your customers' best interests in mind uh, to help us out. How can we get a hold of you? So if you're one of the first five callers and you are already retired or getting ready to retire, it's an opportunity to give us a call. You'll speak with one of our team members to find a time to sit down with one of our advisors, start talking about your plan. You know, what's going on in the world? How's this affecting you? And making sure we'll put that plan together for you complimentary. Oh, I love that word. Complimentary. So it doesn't cost you a thing to talk to them. It's an incredible offer. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks, Laurel. For you, you at home, take advantage of it. It's a special offer from Matson Financial. If you're nearing retirement, maybe you're already retired, Taylor, Laurel, and the rest of the team is going to sit down with you personally to customize a retirement plan just for you. Again, complimentary, comprehensive plan that not only includes a look at your taxes, but your investments, your income sources, and so much more to help get you to and through that retirement you deserve. Call now, 616-514-3831. That's 616-514-3831.